Thanks for joining me, Harry. Uh, tomorrow we travel to Solihull Moors for our first league away game of the season. What are you expecting from uh, from that one? Uh, definitely a tough game. Um, I know it's something that every manager says, but every game we play is going to be difficult. Um, and 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 Solihull are going to be no different. They're they're a team that has had some success over recent years, and, and they're looking to progress. So they're going to be up and around the playoff areas and looking for promotion as well. So it's going to be another tough test for us. Uh, but again, we wouldn't be playing the sport if uh, the game wasn't going to be a test. So obviously you mentioned last uh, last Saturday that we did defend quite well in uh, in pre-season matches and especially in, in the first half we, we did hold our own. Um, plenty of positives to, to take into uh, to, into this trip. Of course, uh, well, plenty of positives from the first 45. The second 45 was a different story, game of two halves. But we looked to, uh, we've, we've, we've looked at that this week and uh, the boys have responded well. They weren't happy with what's happened. Um, no player, no staff member, no coaching staff, the owner, no one's happy with the result of what happened. So we have to go out there and correct it. And the best way to go out there and correct it is the next game. And, you know, our next game is, is going to be difficult, but we're, we're up for the challenge. We, we did look a bit of a threat uh, at times, especially in the first half against uh, Notts County. Mason Bloomfield obviously came uh, close uh, several times. Uh, that's, that's obviously must be uh, good, to, good to have something to build on. Again, it's always good to, to, to build little uh, foundations, but again, we must understand this is again a, a new team. It's only been put together you know, eight weeks ago. Um, a lot of these teams have had their teams for a while and you can see the progressions that they've made. So um, time, we've just got to be patient at this moment in time. We've just got to be patient, let the team evolve, let the team work itself out. Uh, we've gone through a little bit of a, an injury crisis at the moment, um, but we're, we're, we're slowly coming out of it. Um, so for us, it's, it's, it's about being patient, but also can we deliver as well? Uh, we signed David Cissé during the week after a lengthy uh, trial period at the club. W where does he fit in your plans uh, going forwards? Well, again, he's an excellent player. I've known David for a, for a long time. He's got great experience in, in League Two. Um, he's come from a good uh, background from the Watford Academies. So he knows how to play the game. He's going to put pressure on Jordan Thomas. Uh, Jordan Thomas is a fantastic player, and I think both of them complement each other. You could kind of say that they're, they're similar in, in, in styles um, so I think it's going to be a good challenge for both of them to keep one another out of the team. For, for the match tomorrow, Salah have reduced ticket prices in an attempt to, to get, the, get the stadium full. How do you think the fans are going to, going to affect, uh, affect tomorrow afternoon? Well hopefully it's a full house. Uh, all players love to play in a, a, a full house stadium. I think it's fantastic. Look, it should be an exciting game. Uh, Neil Ali is a, he's a fantastic coach, he's got great experience, he knows what he needs from his team. We know we're going to come up against a difficult team, um, so we're going to have to do the basics of football and work hard. And finally, have you got a message for the Bees fans who will be making the trip up to Solihull tomorrow? <sighs> Safe trip, um, support us, we're going to be there, we're going to give it our all, we're going to work hard um, and hopefully we can, we can celebrate together coming home.